Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Rabbi Yates. You know it's a strange to realise how much easier it is to read and share the Word of God in this modern age. When we consider the years that the Word of God was only spoken, the years that people kept the Word of God written in Latin, the years that the words in the Bible were kept away from the common people. And yet here we are, now able to listen to and hopefully hear what the Bible has to say whenever we wish to. Let's be thankful for those who sacrificed their lives in order to make it possible. Joshua chapter 11 Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. When Jabin, king of Asa, heard of it, he sent to Jobab, king of Maddon, to the king of Shimon, to the king of Ashkabah, and to the kings who were on the north, in the hill country, in the Arabah, south of Shinnoth, in the lowland, in the heights of Dor, on the west, to the Canaanites on the east, and on the west, the Amite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, in the hill country, and the Hivite, and the Haramon, in the land of Mizpah. They went out, they and all their armies with them. Many people, even as the sand that is on the seashore in multitude, with very many horses and chariots. All these kings met together, and they came and camped together at the waters of Miram to fight with Israel. Yahweh said to Joshua, Don't be afraid because of them. For tomorrow, at this time, I will deliver them up, all slain before Israel. You shall hamstring their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came suddenly with all the warriors against them by the waters of Miram, and attacked them. Yahweh delivered them into the hand of Israel, and they struck them, and chased them to great Shadon, and to Misrephoth, Maim, and to the valley of Mizpah eastward. They struck them until they left them no one remaining. Joshua did to them as Yahweh told them. He hamstrung their horses and burned the chariots with fire. Joshua turned back at that time, and took Hazor, and struck its king with the sword. For Hazor used to be the head of all those kingdoms. They struck all the souls who were in it with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was no one left who breathed. He burned Hazor with fire. Joshua captured all the cities of those kings with their kings and struck them with the edge of the sword and utterly destroyed them as Moses the servant of Yahweh commanded. But as for the cities that stood on their mounds, Israel burned none of them except Hazor only. Joshua burned that. The children of Israel took all the plunder of these cities with the livestock as plunder for themselves. But every man they struck with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed them. They didn't leave any grieved. As Yahweh commanded Moses as servant, so Moses commanded Joshua. Joshua did so. He left nothing undone of all that Yahweh commanded Moses. So Joshua captured all that land, the hill country, or the south, all the land of Goshen, the lowland, the Arabah, the hill country of Israel, and the lowland of the same. From Mount Halak, that goes up to Seir, into Baal in the valley of Lebanon, the Mount Hermon. He took all their kings, struck them, and put them to death. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, except the Hivites, the head inhabitants of Gibeon. They took all in battle, for it was of Yahweh to harden their hearts, to come against Israel in battle, that he might utterly destroy them, that they may have no favour that he might destroy them, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Joshua came at that time, and cut off the Anakim, from the hill country, from Mebron, from the Bear, from Anab, and from all the hill country of Judah, and from all the hill country of Israel. Joshua utterly destroyed them with their cities. There were none of the Anakim left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, in Nashdod, did some remain. So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that Yahweh spoke to Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance to Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. The land, address, from what?